Hello, Ender Sword here again, this time with a game sent in to me from a Bronze League player. We're going to be looking at Optimus Poon here, the uh, Zerg player, with a very mature name. That's excellent. And his opponent today is going to be, well, apparently I'm not supposed to announce who he is. That is just him. Uh, so over here, we're going to be looking at the Zerg player. This is a bronze game, and I would say on somewhat the lower end of bronze game. So we're going to take a look at just kind of the basics. This, if you're looking for kind of a higher level commentary, this isn't going to be it today. But this is good for a lot of uh, beginners or just people that feel that they're stuck in bronze. You may be doing this sort of uh Thing yourself so the first thing that we're going to look at is the idea that you always need to be spending your money the whole idea is you're gathering those resources you want to be very swiftly spending them back out particularly in the early game you want to make sure that uh, your build order is such that you're spending whatever you're collecting or else you're just wasting time leaving yourself vulnerable and not uh, taking advantage of the situation especially for zerg the whole idea is to get your economy up and running or quickly get an army up and running one way or the other we see the early extractor trick there but he doesn't even send this drone back and he's not actually making an overlord so it's kind of a failed uh extractor trick thing going on there'll be more things like that uh, second thing we're looking at is Zerg has to expand. You can't be one basing a Zerg, and we'll see that this player, uh, Optimus there, is uh, just not very ready to expand at any given time and not eager to do so, and that pretty much hurts him the whole time. And the third thing that we're going to take a look at is uh, that you've got to spawn more damn overlords. The game tells you to do that all the time, and so far... Since that extractor trick, we've been supply blocked since there, and he's just now starting to spawn that, gets supply blocked repeatedly throughout the game, and ends up hurting him at uh, very key times. So it's something that you have to be looking at. So already we can see just 2 minutes 30 seconds into the game, he's been supply blocked so much and built up 500 minerals. Definitely, if you're going to be supply blocked like that and can't uh, actually use your larva then definitely you want to be expanding definitely you want to be getting your pool down maybe you want to be taking a gas when you have this much money something like that you've got to be using that money there's no way that any zerg any player any race should have 500 600 minerals three minutes into the game you really need up until like the six seven minute mark your minerals should always be at like five not 500. You want to keep them really, really low and always make sure that you're just building things as soon as you have enough money to and not actually waiting. But obviously at 700 now, no expansion going down, no pool going down. This early in the game, there's no reason that the Terran player couldn't have just come with uh, two Marines, couldn't be putting, could be putting a bunker down in your own natural, could just be doing whatever you want it and have an army up that's actually capable of killing and uh, the Terran obviously here is going for the fast expand Zerg player doesn't really know that yet and is just now going to put that spawning pool down so definitely something you want to be doing uh, also these larvae can't be staying on the ground ideally at 16 out of 18 supply one of those should be an overlord the other two now should be going right into drones since he literally can't make anything else because he waited so long to put the spawning pool down and at this point he should literally be double expanding he should take his natural and take his third immediately for saving that much up to be perfectly honest i would never let it get up to this point but if i did i would actually triple expand right now because you need to catch up that badly his supply is actually already quite a bit behind he's supply blocking himself again and just see two overlords going down he's just way behind at this point and then going right into a roach warren so five minutes 20 seconds in doesn't really know what the Terran is doing um, from his perspective he wasn't even able to get up the ramp has no idea what's going on but has just opted oh, I don't need to defend myself in any way whatsoever obviously the bad sort of decision this isn't designed to hit any sort of timing offensively obviously if it, even if it was he needs that second hatchery down to even be able to make enough units to actually spend this money so it doesn't uh, make any sense not going for any sort of upgrades in the sense of speed uh, not going to upgrade to lair or anything like that if we look at what he's actually producing 
he was in a real hurry kind of to get these three roaches out, but he wasn't in a hurry at all, given that he could have had the roach warren done about two minutes ago. So there's just kind of offsetting um, goals here that he's going for. You need to be hitting these injects. Larva can't be waiting on the ground like that, does kind of use them up and goes to max supply at least this time he did think to make another overlord but at the same time you're spending those you can't be forgetting that inject you've only got one hatchery what else are you doing right now that you can't actually be hitting that back in you either have to inject or if you're not going to put a creep tumor down at this point he can actually afford both of them and now we've got these early roaches out what for he's not actually doing anything with them if you're gonna get eight roaches like this really early and cut your drone production at only 16 you've got to be doing something with that eight roaches hitting right now because the terran player has been pretty slow would do a fair bit of damage there's not a lot he doesn't have marauders out here of course the zerg player doesn't really know that so there's uh no reason to think that the terran would be quite as vulnerable as he is he's not too bad but eight roaches certainly slamming into him and now a little more than that following up could certainly put some pressure on probably make him lift off this expansion but not do a lot more still we've got the zerg player not putting anything down here at all and instead is teching up to lair off a single base a one basing zerg in general is not a good idea at all um, let alone one that's actually one basing to a lot of tech if you see a zerg player one basing it's because they six pooled or something it's not because they're planning to tech a lot uh, so the roaches kind of make their way out onto the field often one of these early roach pushes is coupled with plus one attack or plus one armor against terran depending usually both actually uh, like a one one attack he's not going for any upgrades here he does obviously have the money to do it there's just no shortage of minerals at all he has to be doing a lot more than this but instead is just kind of straightforward pushing in with the roaches and uh even then isn't actually rallying his roaches up to reinforce this because there actually are enough here that uh this attack is a reasonable one he started target firing down that uh bunker should have just actually continued with it um, a little overwhelming there there was no real way that he was going to break through but at least if you're going to try and do it at least be rallying to the front trying to hit some sort of timing with it but this was just kind of a random oh i think i'll go attack into something when you see that that is what you're facing just go home just turn around and go back home a lot of people particularly in bronze league silver league will launch an attack and never even consider the possibility of actually retreating from that attack the terran was only really in a good position as long as he could stay there with that bunker if you actually force the marines to come out and start chasing the roaches you could kite back and forth pick one off kite back and forth pick one off and cause a bit more of a problem for him but instead he charges in and he's going to do it again with these six roaches if the first attack was bad this one is absolutely horrible he already knows that there is enough stuff there to kill like 13 roaches and so he attacks with six more it doesn't really make a lot of sense obviously the hatchery going down here yeah, finally is finished at 11 minutes and 30 seconds into the game ideally we're looking for about uh, three to four minutes that that is actually out there so it's just really really late um, no upgrades going on here no real pattern to what he's doing at all he's for some reason investing in the overlord speed and the overlord uh, drop ability doesn't really make a lot of sense here um, he wants to get behind this front line but the front line is not the problem there's only one bunker at the front line the problem is that this army is way bigger than yours and can do a lot more damage than yours so it doesn't really matter where you drop it you're not going to do that much damage when you've just got an inferior force to begin with the terran player has stim he's got a couple of marauders out got tanks out even got the medevacs out now the terran is teching up reasonably well so when this drop finally comes in yes it's cute that it'll be dropped and it'll catch him off guard for like three seconds but then there's no escape from it there's no way to pull yourself back out once marines have run up on your roaches and overlords you can't pull them out of there so you're just 
dropping this force to its own death. Um, overall here, the economy has just been behind the entire game. He's only got 19 drones on the map. Once he started making roaches, that's basically all he made uh, up until the second hatchery came up. You need to be at like 40 or 50 roaches, even in bronze at this level. You need to be on three bases at this point into the game, uh, 13, 14 minutes into the game. Creep spread needs to not be just starting right now, and the queen just put down, I think, the first creep tumor on the entire thing. Uh, finally, we do get the plus one weapons upgrade going here. But even with this, the we rush to that tech to get everything up. And again, it's a very slow rush because everything was delayed. But it gets everything in position and then ultimately doesn't do anything with it. So the army is moving out. He's been waiting there for about a minute or two. But this just isn't going to be enough. He's essentially let the Terran build up two completely distinct armies, both of which are capable of killing this force here. And this just is not a doom drop at all. This isn't going to do a lot of damage. He'll pick off some SCVs, but he's not at all going to pay for this type of attack. Even honestly at this point, if he killed every one of these, I don't think it is worth the actual investment into it. But of course he kills a few there, and then in comes the army, supported by tanks, marauders, medevacs, everything. Look how easily that goes down. Was a uh, maybe one, two units were killed in that? And he maybe got, what, six, seven SCVs? Just not worth it at all for about 10 or 11 roaches. Uh, one cute thing about it, because this is bronze of course, is mitigating the cost the SCVs do decide to build five missile turrets for no no good reason. He came out so well in that, that if I was the Terran player, there's seven turrets, obviously, I would want him to drop again. I would want him to do that to me again. I would make no attempt to defend against it. Uh, his army, obviously, up here, we've got literally one third of the army or so about to push into the Zerg base, and it's gonna be plenty. That's gonna be enough to just wash over everything. There was not enough reinforcements built. They're kind of rallied to the back of the base as opposed to in a position where he could get a good concave. When he comes down here, he's attack moving in, so only the front line of roaches is actually firing. They're just running around in the back. Otherwise, horrible surface area. If you get caught like that, run them down the ramp entirely until they're all in range and then uh, go to attack. Otherwise, you're just hurting yourself. He could have done a little better than he did there. He still was going to lose it regardless, but he could have done a little better and would have done much better had the roaches been on the low ground in the first place to prevent that from ever uh, sieging up on him. So overall here, this is just the economy never got big enough. He was never really on two bases. He only ever had like 19, 20 drones out on the map which is only enough to saturate one base in the first place, so he never got any real benefit from being on the second base. The Terran was just able to overrun him. Everything was so late. Uh, the roaches coming out and attacking the bunker just so late. If he had gotten down this pool, gotten down this roach warren, and made that attack about two minutes earlier, and that exact attack was possible about two minutes prior to that, it actually could have done a lot of damage. There was a point that there was a bunker with four Marines and four Marines standing outside of it and an expo behind it. He actually could have uh, broke through that with nine to 13 roaches and he just didn't in this case because just waited too long, everything was late coming out and he tried to tech up a little nonsensically behind it as opposed to going for say standard upgrades, expanding and actually just getting a number of forces out. Uh, you're often better off, off with just a bigger army than you are trying to attack too much and, uh, and ultimately not accomplishing anything. So I hope that uh, helps out. Uh, Optimus Poon, you're not quite OP, but I uh, hope to see you there sometime in the future. Uh, anyone wants to subscribe, I'm actually going to, for the first time ever, try and add one of those click me and subscribe links to the video. I've never played around with that uh, YouTube stuff before, but please, if you do like these, subscribe and, uh, and let me know, leave comments, like, all that crap. Uh, thanks for